1930 Model A Tudor Rat Rod, we call her the Widowmaker. Because when I crash it, my wife's going to be a widow. <laughs> so, a lot of fun, very loud, gets a lot of attention at the gas stations. <laughs> what do you got in it? Uh, this got a small block 350 temporarily. Uh, our new motor's being rebuilt. We have another small block going in, board 32 over, dual uh, quick fuel carburetor sitting on a 671 Wien blower turning about 750 horse. Wow, nice. So she uh, ain't gonna be the fastest thing, but she'll do burnouts for days. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Thanks, man, appreciate yep. it. <laughs> what an awesome car. Feel free to take any fix on the inside you want, my friend. Oh, thanks, bro. This is incredible, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Henry Munster, what he wishes they could Yeah. <laughs> Here. Oh, there, and on the shifter is Margaret, uh, Margaret the Beaver. We traveled 3,000 miles in this car. Yeah, sweet. And, uh, uh, that's when we picked up the little black one on the uh, in the windshield. That's uh, Seymour. Oh, I do. It's a bobblehead. So as you're going down the road, you sit here. He's you sit here yeah, because they said we should have won because the guy that won shot us. So <laughs> the inside here. Fast. Yeah. It was sure. built on horsepower TV. Was, oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah, and it's kind of, I've left it pretty much alone. The only thing I've done is put a different, had a black air cleaner on it. I'm like, yeah. It's a blower motor. It needs a blower. Yeah. Air cleaner. Cool. Um, other than that, I left it alone. I put a posi in it. Didn't have a posi. I dynoed it. I dynoed it. It got 300 horse. Did. 140 miles an hour in fourth gear. Jeez. So it's it. This car's a blast. It's scoot. <laughs> it scoots really good. And uh, built flathead. <coughs> Puts 300 horse to the crank. I got 270 to the wheels. Posi nine inch. Pete and Jake chassis. Five speed transmission. Yeah. Your 38 special. <laughs> yep. Um, so when I got it, there was no license, there was nothing in there for gauges, and uh, that's what year I was born. So I had that license plate for probably, you know, 40 years sitting in my shop. Nice. And I, car's done in signage, so I'm like, what a perfect spot, you know, there's a big hole right here. Oh, yeah. So I just cut it open bigger and uh, put that in there. And, yeah. But yeah, this one here's a pretty cool car to drive. It's it's one that you know when you have shiny cars and stuff that <laughs> you can you know I go home and I get people rides in these things. I go out in my field and whip donuts and nice and they get dirty. <laughs> I love it. You know you gotta wash them. You just drive them. <laughs> but so yeah, this is a 28 Ford Roadster called the Ranchi Rat Rod. Awesome. Awesome. I love it, man. I love it. Nice. I was driving it last summer, giving a guy a ride, and the wheel came off. I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> Quick release wheel. That was kind of off. <laughs> well, we should start it, huh? Thirty-two Chevrolet Cummins Diesel, 
Uh, automatic power steering, power brakes, air ride suspension, um, 30 Chevrolet grill. Um, I should show you something cool. Yeah. The center console uh -huh. was a pair of leather pants. <laughs> what I wanted was a place to put my cell phone. And I'm out of pockets. <laughs> That's awesome. 1955 Chevy Dash. Um, it's chopped six inches. Uh, like I say, overdrive transmission. Uh -huh. Car's a lot of fun. It's got a suburban rear end and a 373 gears. It's pretty fast. <laughs> How fast do you think it goes? Uh, I drove it up 90 miles an hour. All right, yeah. It's cool. just got done, so we've just pretty much playing with it this summer. So, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's kind of unusual to put a diesel in them. Yeah. A lot of black smoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, uh, about six months to make. Back here. Oh, okay. Battery, air tank, and all that back here. Trap door. Very cool. Yeah, that's what got me inspired when you did that. This is this is the one you guys did first. Yep. Oh, sorry. Tacked on there. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. Never did a car in his life. Really? Nope. You a welder before this then or? Nope. Really? Learned building this car. That's so cool. Take a look at this really unique build over here. 59 Dodge Coronet, originally, now a rat rod. It, it's reminiscent of, a, of another build I've seen. I'm wondering if it's not the same builder. There's a 59 Hulk Camino out there. This reminds me of. It's definitely got a Hot Wheels feel to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at this thing. Incredible, incredible build, man. Look at this.
Oh, that is cool. Look where he's got the ignition right in the middle there. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. I've never seen that before. <laughs> some unique, some unique stuff happening in this build. I love it. I wonder if this is a brand new build. Here you go. Here's the builder. I'd have to look back. I don't know if, if uh, Chris Walker, I believe he's the gentleman that uh, created the Hulk Camino. I'm not positive, but either way, this is a heck of a build. Really cool. Look at that. Very cool. Here's a rat rod built on the 63 Ford Falcon. Look at this truck here. I saw this at one other show that I've been at this summer. Oh, I love the way he uh, did some uh, kind of stenciling work on this. Side. That's pretty cool. It's an old uh, international truck. trying to think of the right word I just just the, the paint job I guess just the way he kind of gently inlaid the inlaid the pattern there with a little bit of gold paint and it's just a fun truck it's got the wood top on it <laughs> 
Chevy here with a big old Detroit diesel engine in it. I love this thing. I've seen it at quite a few shows. It's a really fun build. I love it. Remember seeing this old Ford drive past me at uh, Street Machine Nationals. <laughs> I didn't get to take a better look at it after that though, so this is, this is fun. <laughs> Why? Because you can. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's pretty cool fabrication work here. Spider web, witch doctor there. Some pretty fun metal work going on in this. I like it. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can see the condition of the road too as you're driving. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, good times. Fun truck. Nice, look at this rat rod. a pretty uh, clean rat rod. I usually, <laughs> the rat rods I usually see are not this clean. This one's so clean. I'm not even sure I want to call it a rat rod. Maybe it's just a hot rod. <laughs> the 
that's awesome. I think that's the brake, right? Those are the brakes. And it comes with a free bottle opener. <laughs> right there and then there's the lines it comes down right out of there so <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool for this so I got overdrive for freeway curve. Oh sure sure. So but everybody's wanting fifteen hundred for the train for just the train. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna make my money back on it for sure. Basically get the train so that's the way back in over You know how uh in the in the old farms they got the little pits of snows and shit and they got the grates out clean out well there's an eight hundred pound motor that turns grates get it up in the air pulling out So this is the car on the shirt for this year. Gearhead get together. Here's the car. <laughs> this is the car on the t-shirt this year. I was just talking to the owner. He said he used to belong to his brother, and his brother just passed away this year, so it's pretty, meaning, it's pretty meaningful that he can have it here this year again and be on the cover of the t-shirt. Pretty awesome. Ooh, we've got a gas earlier. Here. Yeah, pretty cool car, pretty meaningful build for his brother. Nice rat rod truck here. Cell. <laughs> Battery.
126 bottle tea they got going here. Really nice. I like what they're doing here. Got the flat head in there. It's kind of fun. I can get some cool shots. <laughs> Standing up on the ramps here. Good looking rat rod here. Seen this one. Look at the interior. This is amazing. Just got a hammer in there. Ford Model A. <laughs> Look at that. To see everything, like all the mechanics of it, you basically just. <laughs> Look on the other side, the sun's kind of hit. There we go. It's maybe seeing here better now. All mechanics is right there. I love it. <clears throat> 47 Ford COE here. Hauling a rat rod. Based off a 37 Ford, I think. Come over here and get this rat rod here. I think I've seen it before. Everybody else is in the gas. Oh, I like it. 
Here's a 1930 Ford Model A. Lunatic Insane Asylum theme throughout. I've seen this one other time, I think, before. It's a pretty cool build. It's really cool. <laughs> Built off a 1930 Ford Model A. This is what I love about rat rod owners. They're usually just like, yeah, do whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can sit in there, whatever you want. Not all of them, so you should always ask, but like, it's kind of cool that they're pretty open to letting people just sit in their cars or whatever, hang out. I don't think <laughs> it's cool. You're fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Grandpa. We have to have him back by three. <laughs> He's taking pictures. You're fine. Don't worry about me over here. You guys are all good. I like the way they did the X's there with the welds. <laughs> Almost like stitches. That's so cool. Psycho. The webbing here on the roof. <laughs> exactly. The wrench goes in the door. Be a fun car to show up at some uh, some haunted attractions over October. Show up in this thing, some sort of a zombie makeup on. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Keep it between the ditches. The stray jackets for the seat covers are a couple of shackles in the back. <laughs> Representing Bob Ross back there in the tank. The metal dice. There's a lot of cool fabrication work in this thing. Love the side pipes coming up here. Look at the little covers. <laughs> Whoops, I'm zoomed in too far. Look at that. <laughs> That's. Uh, that's fun. truck says <laughs> so you can grab some chalk and <laughs> put your mark on this truck <laughs> this is awesome dude look at this show I've never seen so many rat rods in one spot it's awesome another nice Chevy truck here it's got a Johnny Cash theme to it Nice 
28 Ford here with the flathead in it and everything. A little roadster. So I bring it's awesome, dude. I draw on my truck, so don't freak out if you see anybody scribbling on it. I've seen that guy. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I just drive it and see how long it stays. It's after it's up. For the longest time, we're going to go to our car. What do we got over here? I think I might need to get that. Something like that for my boy. There's cars over here. French Lake, 47 Rat Rock. Yeah, I've seen this before. Looks like we need a spare tire on this thing. There's a workhorse here, look at this, got it rigged up so you can hitch a trailer to the front. <laughs> Probably back stuff out or maybe push stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Old five window. There's something kind of interesting. Some sort of a party, party bus. This thing looks like it might float with those things under there. <laughs> Pieces of a Ford Model A. <laughs> it's like people fixing to have a good time with this thing here. <laughs> the party machine. <clears throat> Man, look at this one. This looks like an old uh, international truck here. Gotta admit though, I haven't seen an international like this. I love what they did with the, the kind of the spray paint with all of this. That's just looks nice. This is, God, this is cool. Boxy little era from '62 to '65. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, that's that's pretty unique. Huh. Yeah. This is pretty cool, man. Kind of in love with this thing. A lot of unique custom uh, work on this little guy here. Obviously, it's not. Yeah. Here's a 1938 Chevy Master Deluxe. Watch go eat wabbit. Let's talk to you. something here. There's the old hillbilly hauler. 
three yet? All lifted and everything, it's incredible. Seven Essex rat rod. Look at this uh, build here. It's got a sea grave in it, which I think were uh, the engines they put in fire trucks, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Hope you like spark plugs. There we go. build. The 64 Rambler. These guys didn't eat their dinner last night, did they? Look at that. Yep. <laughs> Two Chevy Skyliner. There's a 47 Willys built upon an 83 Blazer, I think. So, kind of a fun rat.
here's a 33 Plymouth rat rod. I've seen this one before in a couple shows. Always fun to see it, those cool birds. Six, 1926 Ford Model T at one point. <laughs> It's good to see a nice old truck just here as it is, rust and all. It's a nice, good old working old Ford truck. I've seen a lot of nice flathead in there. It's awesome. Nice old dune buggy here. Or would this be like more of a Baja car here, huh, I guess? Quite the tailpipe. <laughs> Bird just dive bombed me. It's a 31 Ford Model A Roadster. Tomato truck here. This mater is made out of a 58 International, which is kind of cool. Yeah, a straight six. I do believe Mater had a V8. I think Mater was a Chevy, but I'm not sure. This is awesome though.
It's a uh, 23 Ford Model T. At least it was at one point. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. Different. I like it. Old rat fink here on the back. Give me a gas canister, I guess. It's awesome. It's a nice rat rod here. Thumbs up to this car. <laughs> it's parked right next to a Marlin. Oh yeah, I remember this rat rod truck here. This rat rod tow truck, I've seen it at quite a few shows. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet rat rod. Oh yeah, here's old Lightning McQueen and there he is. <laughs> and old Mater back here. That's awesome. There's a nice 38 Ford pickup here. Look at that. This thing's incredible. <laughs> Some nitro back there. The 
paint on this is incredible. Those look like all rivets and stuff, like even like they're rusting and everything, but it's just all paint. <laughs> Those aren't actual like rivets or anything, they're just paint. The bullet holes are painted on there too. It's a heck of a paint job actually. This thing is sweet. Yeah, well, I'm about out of gas here myself. It's about time for me to head out of here. Wish I could film more of the show for you guys. It's a massive show. That's about all the energy I got, man.